Hello, my beautiful Libra Libras. Welcome to your December 1st through 15th, 2021 reading. Many blessings to you all. This is a collective reading for all Libra, sun, moon, and rising. That means if you'd like a personal reading, please visit my website, royalmystic.com. Once you schedule your appointment, I'll be more than happy to assist you. So let's go right into the energy. Well, we have the Knight of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles. Very solid energy of an offer being made. It's an authentic energy. And the Queen of Pentacles, which is stability and financial abundance. So we love that combination coming in. Let's see what else we have. Thank you, angels, archangels, divine, pure, white light. Divine spirit, two of swords. Spirit guides. Gods and goddesses, thank you so much for being present here to allow all Libra, sun, moon, and rising to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. We thank you so much, Divine, for these blessings and beautiful messages, and we receive them in the love and light for which they are intended. We thank you for this divine guidance as always, and we welcome your blessed energy. Thank you so much, Divine. You're always welcome and very appreciated. So that Two of Swords comes in as your second cut card. That's the energy of not trying to force logic. You have to get out of your head and get into spirit and allow yourself to manifest if you want to have something that hasn't happened before. If you want to bring in something new, you've got to be open to the creative source energy. And logic isn't that. Logic is methodical and repeated and a specific set of criteria. It's about following a plan. When you're manifesting, there's no set way. And you just have to, it's an energetic thing, not a physical thing right? Action. Knight of Rods. Very fast moving. When it's time, it's time. You'll know. He shows up and says, come on, let's go. <laughs> the offer coming in here, however, <laughs> doesn't seem so important to you, but it is. Understand. See, he's leaning back away from it because he's, he's like, well, what's in that cup? I don't know if it's for me. Well, that's the hand of the universe bringing that cup in. As you can see, I'm trying to get, there we go. Understand, you don't always recognize it when it's coming in from divine because it's something that maybe doesn't look like you thought it would. Be in a place of being open and vet it before you say no. Here's our beautiful queen, the Libra queen, the queen of swords, air sign queen, but we're in the Libra reading. There we are, connected to source, very much in our power. Love that energy creative source with the Libra and the two of swords staying out of your logic mind getting into spirit mind our strength is the air that's where we have to stay in that communication and in the flow okay the swords here trying to be logical it's going to trip you up temperance this is the universe assisting us in manifesting what we want. We have to be patient and let it all come together. Sagittarius Major Arcana, Archangel Uriel, assisting with alchemy, bringing together juxtaposed energies so that it can bring something new into being. The Emperor. This is something fully formed, fully manifested. It can be a person. This would be someone who is wise, world traveled, maybe speaks multiple languages, most likely speaks multiple languages. The emperor is the energy of something fully, fully manifested, fully formed, fully actualized. It is the Aries major arcana, but it also means whatever's being manifested here, you've got that energy coming in strong. Death to the old way. Now, these are every single one a major arcana. They are also every single one a specific zodiac sign. Sagittarius, Aries, Scorpio. They're all big movers and shakers. So in your relationship, love life, and personal life, and spiritual life, there's big changes happening. Not a negative thing. This is clearing out the past toxic energy, making ready for a new beginning. So somebody's... Uh, you know, cooking up something here. Some there may be someone about to arrive in your, in your wonderful plane of existence. This is a clearing and a purging. The death card is about the. I call him the 
the cosmic garbage man coming in to wipe the slate clean and let you release all that old stuff. We have the three of cups in our career and finance area. This is a double portion being poured in by these little seraphim. Seraphim are elemental angels and they are the energy of salt, sulfur, and mercury as well. This is the beautiful energy of creation. As they do alchemy, they pour a double dose so your cup is literally overflowing. We'll take two scoops. The Eight of Swords. Now you get the two scoops and you go, but why? And then what can, what does that mean? And what should I do from there? And we start to really run off the track here with our need to control. And we, there's nothing to control. This is elemental. This is this universal energy of the beautiful seraphim. They are archangel. I mean, they're, they're angels. They are not archangels, but they're tiny. They are the energy of the guardians of the covenant, the guard, they guard the, the gates of heaven, they guard the Garden of Eden entrance. So they're mighty, mighty angels, and they do have the ability to bless you with something here that what they're they're setting up circumstances. You don't have any control except to get into spirit mind. This is another reminder. See the blindfold? There's a blindfold here. Your logic is not going to work here. You have to let the universe make its move. And here's the Four of Wands. Solid communication, solid grounded energy, and very good. For anything with the Four is, is solid, planted. So you've got the rods, which mean work or action. So whatever you're doing is working. And, it's, and if you're in the middle of this transforming for you, it's coming from the fear and worry into the solid, everything's okay. Oh, and we have Archangel Michael here, which is our king energy for the Libra. It's also the Archangel Michael, and that's the energy of being protected and guided and also being in a place of very strong energy of removing obstacles. So as the king, it's the energy of something in the masculine, which means already in existence or fully in existence. So coming from this queen energy into the king means a manifestation happening. And for those of you who are in a relationship or about to be, this is a match set. So we like that. They don't have to be your zodiac sign. They just are in alignment with each other. Although it could be another air sign. Queen of Pentacles, very solid energy for our bottom card here. This is financial abundance and, and financial security. It's also earth sign energy. So here we go. Thank you, angels, archangels, divine, pure, white light, divine spirit, spirit guides, gods and goddesses. Thank you so much for being present here to allow all Libra, sun, moon, and rising to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. We thank you so much, divine, for these blessings and beautiful messages, and we receive them in the love and light for which they are intended. We thank you for this divine guidance as always, and we welcome your blessed energy. Thank you so much, divine. You are always welcome and very appreciated. So we have the Knight of Swords and the Knight of Rods. Very solid energy of fast-moving information and action. So it's time. The timing is here. Movement is coming very quickly, all at once. Three days, three weeks, three months, third time's the charm, and there's the Four of Cups. Something's showing up that you're not too sure about, or you may not fully be um, aware of the benefit of it. Well, you will be very soon, because there it is. And we have the Fool. A brand new beginning, open heart, allow yourself to let go of previous energies, whether it's a relationship or something to do with a job, this is the adventure beginning right there with the fool. It's the change everyone wants because it means it's smooth transition. There's nothing left over from the past. You get to clear it all out. Much, Probably much credit goes to that death card, um, letting go of all the past toxic energy. Now, don't get into your feelings about the past when you're clearing out stuff and starting something new. This is getting way too nostalgic. You need to let go of that overthinking. And just move forward. Release those that old past negativity. 
Stay focused, the two of pentacles. Don't allow yourself to be distracted by the rest of the, the chaos in, in the world, right? What is your goal? Stay focused on your goal. That is all you need to do. If you get stuck in this little energy of that, what's going on in those boats, you risk your whole self and, and not be any further ahead by doing it. Ooh, here comes the three of cups again. The beautiful seraphim showing up. There's the energy of the celebration coming in with that beautiful emperor energy. So this is very good coming in, promising. And the four of pentacles, another stability card. This is money in the bank. So we like that. It also means commitment because it is, he's anchored. He's making this commitment with this four of pentacles. We have the Leo strength card showing up here with the three seraphim again. This is Archangel Ariel. Ariel is the energy of the Lion of God. This is the Leo Major Arcana, but this is the energy of the Sacred Archangel Ariel, who will keep you focused and let you move forward towards your goal without being interrupted or derailed. Look, could I even, I can't even make this up. There's the Two of Swords. I was comparing it to the Eight of Swords, and here comes the Two of Swords again, right on top of that Eight of Swords. Don't allow yourself to overthink it. Just do. Just stand and deliver. The Nine of Pentacles is here telling you, you will be provided for as long as you're in a place of understanding that the possibilities are endless and the universe has your back. That's the main thing to remember. The universe provides exactly what you need, exactly when you need it every single time. It's hard when we're in a place of new something, something has happened and we have to change course for something. Don't get in the fear. The only choice you have is to be positive. If you go into negative, you've already lost. And you're, you're consigning yourself to the loss. I'm sorry, but I don't give up that easy. Nine of Cups. This is the energy of a yes from the universe to your heart's desire being granted. Take it as you will. It can be a relationship. It can be uh, something to do with a job or something that you want in your life so badly that the universe finally gives you the, the green light on it. So, my Libra friends, I hope you have a beautiful first half of December. I send you all my love and light. Thank you for everything. It's been a pleasure. Every single time I do these readings, I just am overjoyed to give this wonderful positive energy out. Sometimes we get stuck in the negative and it's just my job to kind of shake you out of it. I Believe me, I'm shaking myself out of it too. It's all the same. I love you guys. Many blessings and I'll see you in the middle of December. Namaste, my friends.